the earth in the solar system in this chapter we will cover the following topics celestial bodies stars and planets and the solar system let's start our journey with the celestial bodies the sun the moon planets stars and other bodies in the universe are called celestial bodies let's begin with stars the star that is closest to the earth is the sun some celestial bodies are very big and hot they are made up of gases and have their own heat and light a celestial body which emits its own heat and light is called a star the light from a star appears to be flickering which is called twinkling of a star stars seem to twinkle because their light travels to the earth's atmosphere and the turbulence in the atmosphere affects the way stars are seen all the stars that make up the milky way galaxy revolve around the center of galaxy once every 200 million years or so a system of billions of stars is called a galaxy here we can see the twinkling stars and this is the milky way galaxy the constellation what is a constellation in the night sky you can see different patterns formed by group of stars such a pattern of stars is called a constellation Ursa Major or the Great Bear is one such constellation. Pole stars can also be located with the help of these constellations. The position of a pole star remains the same throughout the night and never changes. During ancient days, sailors and travelers used the pole stars to find directions at night. Orion is one of the most visible constellations because of its location it can be seen throughout the world Orion is shaped like a hunter with a raised club Here we can see the constellations this is Leo this is Ursa Major and now we'll see Orion Here you can see the shape of an Orion is shaped like a hunter with a raised club. The solar system. What is the solar system? The solar system is formed by the sun, eight planets, some other celestial bodies, asteroids and meteoroids. Here we can see the solar system this is sun and this is the closest planet to the sun which is mercury and the farthest planet among the eight planets is neptune of course this is pluto the dwarf planet the sun the sun is a star which is at the center of the solar system it is huge in size and made up of hot gases the sun is very hot but we do not feel its heat as we are very far from the sun in fact the distance between the sun and the earth is 150 million kilometers sunlight reaches the earth in about 8 minutes though we are very far from the sun Here we can see the sun as a glowing ball of plasma. The planet. A planet is a celestial body that orbits a star. All the planets are spherical in shape. There are 8 planets in the solar system. 
जैसे आर मर्क्यूरी वीनस और मार्स जुपिटर सैटन यूरानस एंड नेपट्यून Till the year 2006 Pluto was also considered a planet but during a meeting of the International Astronomical Union the scientists decided that it should be considered as a dwarf planet Here we can see our planet Mercury Venus Earth Mars Jupiter Saturn Uranus Neptune and the dwarf planet Pluto These are the inner planets Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. These are the outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Pluto. Here we can see the dwarf planet Pluto. Now comes our planet the Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest planet in the solar system it is spherical in shape and flat in its top and bottom earth is the only known planet where life exists the earth is known as the blue planet as two thirds of the earth is covered with water The temperature on earth is neither too hot nor too cold. Water and air are present on earth. Thus we can say right conditions are present on earth to support life. This is our planet earth. The moon The moon is the nearest neighbor in the solar system. It is the only satellite of Earth. The moon takes 27 days and 8 hours to complete one revolution around the Earth. The shape and the position of the moon as seen from the Earth, however, varies each day. Now let's learn about the phases of moon. When the moon appears like a circular disk it is called a full moon in hindi the full moon day is called purnima when no moon is visible in the sky it is called the new moon when the new moon appears like a sickle it is called a crescent moon sometimes the moon appears like a semicircle the full moon appears once in a month Neil Armstrong was the first human to land on the moon Here we can see the different phases of moon this is the full moon which is clearly visible in the sky during night and this is the new moon which is not visible in the sky during night shape of a sickle crescent moon The moon has no water or air. The climate is not suitable for living. There are lots of hills and craters on the surface of moon. Next comes asteroids. There are numerous tiny bodies which move around the sun. These are present between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. these are called as asteroids they could also be matter that was left over after the planets were formed which are called planetoids these are the asteroids the numerous tiny particles and these is the matter left over after the planets were formed and we call it as planetoids meteors meteoroids are pieces of rock moving at tremendous speed around the sun 
When the rock masses come near the earth, they are pulled in by the earth's gravity. As the meteorites enter the earth's atmosphere, they begin to glow as a result of heating due to friction. The streaks of light the burning meteorites produce as they fall to the earth are called as meteors. The partly burnt fragments of rock material sometimes fall on the surface of earth causing huge dents or craters. These fragments are called as meteoroids. These are meteoroids and this is meteor. Here we can see meteoroids. Let's quickly see what all we studied in the earth, the solar system chapter. Earth rotates on its axis and revolves around the sun. It is a unique planet because it is the only planet where life exists. It is known as a blue planet as one to two thirds of it is covered with water. The moon is the only natural satellite of earth. Asteroids are celestial bodies revolve around the sun between the orbits of planets Mars and Jupiter and meteoroids are pieces of rock moving at tremendous speed around the sun. The chapter the earth in the solar system star sun is a star it is a hot ball of gas this is our sun, these are the planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and of course the dwarf planet Pluto. Sun is made up of hot gases, mainly helium and hydrogen. It is the primary source of heat and light on Earth. Constellations, group of stars and planets, the celestial bodies that orbit a star. I hope the topic is clear.